Should we not study the great volume of nature? Should we not draw wisdom from the past to guide us to the future? Should we not carefully read and correctly interpret these lessons written by the supreme architect of the universe? Hi, I'm Megan Peoples, a horticulturist and president of a local chapter of the Native Plant Society of Texas. I've been a partner in restoring the Warren Ferris Cemetery back to its original state since the beginning of this exciting project. Imagine Warren Ferris, one of the first settlers to roam these lands. Warren Ferris Cemetery, a 501c3 nonprofit, celebrates pioneer Dallas surveyor Warren Angus Ferris and his deep love of nature, especially the Blackland Prairie, the prairie which so influenced the development of the city of Dallas. Traveling west from Nacogdoches on a survey and expedition, Warren Ferris emerged from the East Texas Piney Woods and came out onto the Blackland Prairie, experiencing its stunning impact. Sun-kissed expanse of wide open prairie met the sky. This was Ferris's description of the Dallas area in the late summer and early fall of 1840. I saw in the picturesque regions there much of the wild, soul-stirring scenes with which I had been so familiar in the mountains. Thousands of buffalo and wild horses were everywhere to be met with. Deer and turkey always in view, and an occasional bear would sometimes cross our path. Wolves and buzzards became our familiar acquaintances, and in the river we found abundances of fish, from minnows to eight-footers. The prairies are boundless and present a most beautiful appearance, being extremely fertile and crowned with flowers of every hue. Ferris came to the Dallas area in 1839 when it was known as the Three Forks of the Trinity, surveying along White Rock Creek. In 1850, Ferris was chosen to survey the boundaries of Dallas County, and his surveys established the basics of later Dallas roads and streets. He might well be considered the founder of Dallas County. He would recognize the beauty in the area and chose his own homestead, what is now known as the neighborhood of Forest Hills. This historic cemetery is the final resting place of prominent early settlers from several significant families. Yet no tombstones remain due to vandalism over the past 150 years. To honor those buried here, the plan is to research the souls buried here, execute a landscape restoration plan, maintain and beautify the landscape as a remnant blackland prairie, a certified backyard habitat, and a monarch butterfly way station, and then also to promote and encourage the existing native plant community while adding plants typical to this habitat not already existing on the site. Walking the cemetery at the beginning of the restoration project, we discovered many valuable native species suppressed by invasive plants. One of the persisting prairie species is no other than Inglemanii peristenia, or Ingleman's daisy. This fantastic member of the sunflower family is well known for its long-lasting blooms, providing sunny color in the landscape throughout the warm season. Named after George Ingleman, one of the first botanists to scientifically identify, name, and describe countless Texas plant species. I like to believe that flowers like the Ingleman's daisy that the plant explorers proudly attach their name to were ones they had particular fondness for. This plant is also a valuable nectar source for countless beneficial insects and continues on to provide seed for birds long after its showy blooms have faded. Chinkapin oak with its soaring canopy grows to heights of 40 to 50 feet tall. It is a native tree that had no trouble persisting on this historic site. Chinkapin oak along with bur oak were the two dominant oak species in this area. They thrived in areas along waterways and in valleys where the prairie faded into a wooded riparian zone. This is one of our native tree species that doesn't get nearly enough attention in our landscape and therefore has suffered severely in the industrialization of our city, making it increasingly rare and hard to find in our native landscapes. If you have a chinkapin oak, treasure it. If you don't, plant one. There are over 14,000 fallen cemeteries in Texas alone. Friends of the Warren Ferris Cemetery has created a blueprint to inspire others to restore neglected cemeteries in their own neighborhood, developing them into monarch butterfly way stations and conducting genealogical research to recover the identities of those buried there. Get involved. Consider volunteering your time or donating to our cause. To learn more about our programs, go to the Friends of the Warren Ferris Cemetery website.